Hello YouTube friends. Welcome to part 10 of preparing and caring for large seahorses. Today I'm going to talk about the acclimation process. The recommended process may vary depending on where you acquire the seahorses from. If you order online from a vendor and the seahorses are shipped to you, read the vendor's recommended process carefully and follow them. Usually vendors recommend one of two ways to acclimate their seahorses. The first has to do with oxygen being put into the bag for shipping. This vendor who does that practice will recommend floating the bag in the aquarium water for about 30 minutes and at the end of that time period releasing the seahorses directly into the tank. They warn not to add any tank water to the bag because mixing that water with the bag water, which is filled with oxygen, will make the bag water toxic. The other method is a slow acclimation over time. This requires opening up the bag or the vessel the seahorses were shipped in and adding a little tank water over a period of time, multiple times, for about 20 or 30 minutes until maybe about 50% of the bag is filled with tank water. After that amount of time, then it's recommended to release the seahorses into the tank and discard the water in the bag. From my personal experience, I find the most important parameter to observe and adjust when putting seahorses in a new system is the temperature. I don't really notice a big impact on salinity levels or pH. Seahorses are hardier than we realize. So if you can somehow suspend your seahorses or keep them in a vessel in or near the aquarium and let temperatures adjust and equalize, you are safe to put the seahorses right into your aquarium water. You'll notice that a lot of times shortly after they enter the aquarium, they look very dark due to shipping, but will start to brighten up, especially within the next 24 hours. Some may eat right away, some will require a full day to adjust. We'll continue our conversation about feeding seahorses in part 11. Take care and see you next time.